Welcome. Welcome to a new episode of Code Your Own Artificial Intelligence System. Today we're going to look at some knowledge extraction from the body of text. Our body of text is 300 EU project, some research projects, some innovation projects that start in 2021 and will go on till 2025. And our task today is we're going to have some question and this is can you extract some information from all the 300 research projects and show us the sentences that have the closest relevance to our question so we have some domain specific training for knowledge extraction but let's have a look at how we start we start with a bird model a transformer model we compare it to a scientific trained BERT model. We then build our own sentence transformer model. And then we learn our sentence transformer model on some domain specific knowledge. And then we're going to compare those four models with some asymmetric semantic search and some content extraction. And I will show you in detail how we do this. Since it's also called real-time coding. Here we go. We have a JupyterLab environment on topology. We operate in PyTorch, Torch 1.8. We load our sentence transformers. We load our transformers. I change to my directory where I have the EU project from H2020. And I load all the sentences from all 300 projects. Just a short check, how many sentences do we have? 3,387 sentences. And you can see here the first 10 sentences look like this. We have a look at the maximum length of the sentences. You already know why we do this. And then we start with the very easy uh, system, a sentence transformer on BERT base. This is our first step, the BERT base model. Took one second. And then we're gonna code. Now we're gonna encode our model and here we are. We have our sentences and then we start encoding it. Since I have only a CPU and no GPU acceleration available, this is gonna take some time. So I will be back in a second. And after two minutes and 41 seconds, we are back. And the result is embeddings. We have our 3,387 sentences. For each and every sentence, we have an embedding with 768 dimensional encoding systems. And of course, that's nice that also our sentences are identical to the number of encoding. Our operational directory is still our directory that we started from. And now the chapter of knowledge, knowledge extraction. We compare the similarity of sentence embeddings. We just embedded all our sentences in a particular topological space. Now we transform it to a Panda data frame. And the next step is very simply, we uh, load the cosine similarity from sklearn and we combine here embeddings with embeddings. And I've chosen a particular sentence, sentence number 1105. This sentence reads, cancer treatment faces major problems. And now I calculate all other sentences of my body of text. And I, you can see here that here, for example, next closest sentence is without breakthroughs, tr treatment of cancer likely remains one of the biggest centuries, whatever, problem, challenges. And so we go on, 3004, 3003, the number of sentences, the count of sentence exactly the token and you have here like I have here the 15 at 20 to 20 most relevant sentences based to our sentence that we depicted from our body of documents from our 300 project description I've chosen one sentences and I want to see which other sentences within the 300 projects are the most similar and the result is this. Now, what we can do is ask, hey, cybert, scientific bird, is there a different 
ranking that Cybird will provide for us. So what we start, the BERT model, and we download the BERT model from Hugging Face, and we can code our own sentence embedding model with Cybird. It is easy, we have our word embedding model, model transformer, the model name is Cybird. Then we have a pooling model, and we, cons or we built we design our model, center transformer model, word embedding model, pooling model, and here we have our cyborg model. Time that it's taking is about five seconds. So this is our model. To encode our model, sentences should be the same. Now we encode our scientific bird model. This is going to take another time, some minutes, and I will back in a second. And our scientific bird sentence transformer model takes 2 minutes and 30 seconds. We check, yes, the numbers align, that's perfect, and then we go. And, of course, we have to form our panda data frame, and we apply on our cosine similarity calculation. And now you see that although we have the same sentence, sentence or token 1105, we have now a different distribution of sentences where our artificial intelligence system tells us, look, these are the sentences that are thematically closest to your sentence that you provided to me. So whatever you are trying to analyze, you can see here that it depends heavily on the model that you have pre-trained your BERT transformer model on. You will get different results for different models. And if you're interested, I have already trained here Cybert before, and you see 2014, 86, 11, 19, 86, 11, 19. It is not always identical. With BERT, you have an amount of variation, and maybe you should run it two or three times to get an idea about how far the sentences are apart. You see that within the first 10 sentences, you have a lot of, of the same sentences from other models. But if you try to fine tune your model, please run one, two, three simulations before you decide on the model that you want to use. And the last model I want to show you is a model that the domain-specific learning have been applied to. And this is here, you see the article, the archive, and we take the model bird base uncased, and we have a transformer model, we have a pooling layer, we build our sentence transformer, and now we train it. We train it on our sentences. On our 3,387 sentences, we train it, as I've already told you in the last video, it is unfortunately much, much too expensive to train this on my CPU. You have to go to Colab, training on Colab. If I remember co correctly, 40, 40, no, 52 epochs on Colab with this data set takes about one hour. So this is nice. And you, you have a training loss, you optimize, you have an autoencoder loss that you define. You call fit on all these things, and then you finally end up with a domain-specific model trained on your sentences, unsupervised learning. If we have this model, again, this is now our third example. The sentences are the same, and now we encode all our sentences with the model that we already have trained on. It's going to take another minutes, and I'll be back in a second. And the encoding is done in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Check again for the dimensionality. Everything fine. So we build our Panda data frame, and we have a look at our reference sentence here. And now we see 86 is again our sentence of second most important reference. And the distribution is a little bit changed. So 
final words, the domain-specific training on the sentence transformer model, for me, in my specific use case, provides convincing results, and I will go with the domain-specific training. So my sentence embedding will be trained on in an unsupervised mode on my sentences, and the results are really convincing for my specific use case. Of course, you have to check for your particular uh, methodology that you apply, but give it a try and have a look how the performance looks in your case. Thank you.